All right, Patrick, thank you. We'll check back in with you in just a moment. Now, although the storm will hit well to our east, Southeast Texas is still on high alert to help our neighbors from Louisiana, many of whom are seeking shelter in our neck of the woods. Our local American Red Cross has spent countless hours prepping blankets and kits to send over to that state. We've got 12 News reporter Kayla Chote live in Orange County with the update from there tonight. Jordan, Brenda, the executive director of Southeast and Deep East Texas American Red Cross tells me they're privileged to help Louisiana because they always help us during the storm. I like staying here and help, helping get stuff ready to be sent over to where it's going to be deployed. Stacy O'Quinn has been volunteering with the American Red Cross Southeast Texas chapter for 13 years. She spent 20 hours over the last month preparing for a storm like Francine. We are doing shelter agreement boxes and that's really where all of our information that we need to ask the clients when they come in, we fill those out for them. The boxes given away at the shelter contain resources needed to recover from storms. We then tell them what we have set up here in the shelter like blankets, cots, food that will be given them uh, and we try to help them in any way to find a place to stay after they leave the shelter. The nonprofit is putting Southeast Texas first. So our emergency response vehicle will be here and it will deploy out based upon where the need arises. If it's here in our chapter, it'll be here. If it's somewhere else in the region, it'll go. Those vehicles hold hot food, comfort kits, cleanup kits, and more. Red Cross volunteers are getting our shelters ready for guests. We have two that are right now moving assets to move from Liberty County, a shelter trailer, to Nederland, to a church there just to be prepared in case we have anybody that needs to come through that's able to stay and need a safe place. And is ready to go into Louisiana to help. 35 volunteers within this chapter that said, hey, I'm ready when the time comes. What do you need us and where do you need us to be? The Red Cross is accepting volunteers to help those recover from Tropical Storm Francine. Orange County Emergency Management Coordinator advises everyone to, to sign up for the Southeast Texas Alerting Network. Live in Orange County, Kayla Shote, 12 News. Kayla, that is a good reminder. We want to let you know for folks in Orange County, if you live in a low-lying area, sandbags are available at the precinct locations on your screen and also the Orange County Drainage District. They are offering those for free. You simply need to bring a shovel.